How many, how many people here get an inventory every time before a tenancy starts? Some of you. Is there anyone that doesn't bother with in inventories at all? No, not really. A few of you. Some of you. No, you don't get just an inventory on the room, or okay, no, that's fine. I, I get a lot of landlords say, "Well, I'm not furnishing it, so it's you know it's unfurnished. I don't need don't need an inventory." Um, okay, yeah, fine. To be honest, it's, it, the inventories nowadays are so in depth, and it isn't just about furnished properties. It's about uh, it, it's about every inch and every corner of the property, the condition of the walls, the carpets, the you know all that sort of stuff, and it really is the only sort of evidence that you're going to have at the end of a tenancy if you walk in and go, oh my God, they've, you know, they've wrecked the carpets, there's two radiators missing, there's, you know, they've painted the walls black, and you know, this, is, this is horrific. If you haven't had an inventory, you're going to find it very, very difficult to, uh, to win a deposit dispute and stuff like that. So to be honest, I, I would say it's important. Um, it's not just for furnished lets, and uh, again, it's just that extra level of protection come the end of the tenancy that uh, you might need.